you don't need to have a big job. You don't need to have a fat salary for you to become wealthy. You can be wealthy even with your low income. And so today I want us to continue with our conversation of how to strategically manage your money. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. You are a wise man or woman. If you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. conversation begin if you want to be wealthy you got to have the right mindset about money many people have the have a poor mindset about money it's important for you to understand that money is a tool to do things money is a good servant but a terrible master the good book says that money answereth all things and the love of money is what is evil. But money will answer all things. The Bible says so. Money does not make you good or bad. No. It's important for you to understand that becoming wealthy is not about luck. It is about hard work. It is about being smart and hard working at the same time. Money is hard to earn but very easy to lose and money in itself and by itself has no value money is a factor that transmits value yeah that is why sometimes you find people who have money but they don't seem to enjoy life because money in itself has no value money transmits value and value is that product or that service that you buy with money. It's good to understand these things. And many people have said so many things about money. Some of you have feared being wealthy and being rich because of what people will say. You need to remove those negative things people say about money in your mind. Some of you fear that when you become rich or wealthy, People will brand you Illuminati. Others will say you have stolen. Others you say you are corrupt. No. You need those negative things that people say about money. Because money is good though. Is what attitude do you have about your finances? What attitude do you have about money? You need to condition yourself for wealth. Because you know what? Even luck meets people who are prepared. Yeah. Have you ever wondered why sometimes people have inherited a lot of wealth, so to speak, but within a number of years, they are paupers? It's because they have the wrong mindset about money. Becoming wealthy has nothing to do with luck, as I said. You've got to work hard. And the harder you work, the more opportunities come your way. Opportunities don't find people sleeping. No. Opportunity will find you working. Yeah? And you need to stop complaining. You need to start looking for opportunities in your problems. That is the right mindset. Conditioning yourself for wealth. Wealth does not come to people who are complainers. It comes to people who turn who look at opportunities, who see opportunities in problems. Some of you have complained in 2020 about corona. The others who saw opportunities, I'm not talking about those people who passed by Kemsa and got orders. I'm talking about people who genuinely saw opportunities and made money in 2020 as you complained. To be rich, you've got to start becoming a producer not a consumer. Eh? You need to start thinking of how you're going to be a producer, not a consumer, if you want to be wealthy. 
because produce definitely money will come the the good book says that the poor will always be with us <laughs> eh, you want to be among those who are scooted eh? the poor is always among me i am not that one among us i have refused to be poor i have decided i am going to be wealthy i am going to be financially independent I am going to live my life without caring about payments. I am going to, you know, to afford things without caring about price because I am going to be wealthy. And I'm working towards that using some of these things that I'm telling you in these videos. Mm -hmm. I'll be very wealthy. Yeah. The key thing here is that you've got to have the right mindset about money. Because money is just a tool. Money is a magnifier. Yeah? Money does not make you good or bad. It just magnifies who you are. Just because you're a bad guy, because you're poor, and you get money does not mean when you become rich, you'll be a better person. No, it just makes you more of who you are. If you want to know the real person, give them wealth. You will know who they are. Yeah? You need, to, you, you, you need to also, you know, love people who have wealth. Yeah? And learn from them what is it that they did huh? to be wealthy. And one day I was with uh, one man, Chandari, and took a photo as he was uh, forwarding for me my book, this one, which you need to buy. Eh? You need to buy this book. Because this book is, the forward is by Dr. Manu Chandari and he has given his wisdom of how he has grown his business to an empire. Billions of shillings. This is a book for you. Growing a business empire. Eh? A copy is just 1,500. That is an investment you can make for a lifetime. Some of you just eat 1,500 in one sitting. Why not buy a book and makes yourself better? Eh? And have the right mindset by learning from people who have been billionaires. Yeah, buy this book. Call us 0776045087. We will deliver the book where you are for only Kenya shillings, 1,500. So you need to condition yourself for wealth. Because you need to be found ready. Alright? Most poor people say that I cannot afford this. I don't have this. That's the language of the poor. And you need to stop that language if you want to be wealthy. Oh, I don't have this. Oh, this is expensive. Oh, because that is an escape strategy that the poor people use. You need to stop being an escapist. Look for money, yeah? What you need to do is to improve yourself so that you can get more money. Instead of complaining and saying the way you can't afford, the way people are stealing, improve yourself so that you make money. How do you improve yourself? You need to read more about how to make money. You need to listen to videos like this one on what is it that you can do to save what is it that you can do to ensure that you're not broke? You can check those videos in this conversation that we are having. What is it that you can do to save? What is it that you can do? Not to always be broke and saying, oh, I don't have, oh, I can't afford. And by the way, poverty can be passed on. Eh? Yeah. You can pass poverty to your families, to your children. Just by the way you speak, by the way you do things. Because they, they, they start thinking that that is the way of life. There are some people who feel guilty for being wealthy. Eh? So I'll buy a few copies of my books. This is the other book. Eh? How to Thrive and Influence Your Workplace. If you are working, this is a book for you. Kenya Shillings, 1,500. If you want to learn more about strategy, which is my area, I have a book for you, which is a great, great book. And this is the book. Yeah? The winning strategy. You need to be strategic in life. Even when you see it, you need to see it strategically. Come on. 1,500 including delivery. And finally, you need to remember, 
money is not everything. Mm -hmm. So don't be wealthy or don't be so much after money you forget there's a life to live. No. Money is not everything. It is just one small measure of success. But if you have money and you have the right attitude and the right mindset, hey, you enjoy this life. And continues about money management. I hope you are learning something. If you have not checked my previous uh, videos on money management, how to save from your low income, and the strategies to not being broke, check out the description, you'll find them. And watch, learn. Learning is for a lifetime. And I know you will be a better money manager. Thank you very much. Like this video, share this video, and subscribe. And let, us, let the conversation continue. God bless you.